Decante, can you, you've never done this, can you introduce to the guest and to the people watching home what Bar Enemy Bar Friend is about? All right, Bar Enemy Bar Friend is about, we're finding out whether you are a bar friend or enemy. So as a friend, are you friendly to the bar guest? Do you have good orders? Are you fast? Are you patient? As an enemy, are you rushing us? Are you ordering waters for the whole table? Uh, uh, uh-huh. that, that kind of situation. Waters for the whole table, man. <laughs> that throwback to episode six. <laughs> Yo, that was a big that was super contentious. Well, okay, we'll just start with that question right here. Have you ever ordered waters for the table? No. No. Oh, yeah. How yeah, do you feel uh, about that? Um I, I uh, as a server, I'd be very irritated. Mm-hmm. Very as a, as a bartender as well. Very. What about as a guest? Um I mean Every now and then, because every now and then somebody orders something for you, and you're just like, you yeah. know what? I, I appreciate some order because I didn't have to yeah. do it. Because well. now, now if we were we were doing like six rounds of shots, and I'm aware that we're all at the table getting yeah. getting fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd be mm. like, yeah, let's let's get some hydration going See? on at okay. the table after six I, shots. After, yeah, 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 after yeah. six shots, but we got to go deep in but, first to, to get that little recovery. Yeah. Fucking, first. So you know, I'm not gonna say Karen, but you know, Karen sits <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna start with a round of waters. I'm like, yeah, no, are we or no, do you not, want water? Not first thing. Not okay. Never first thing. All right, Sydney, you're wrong. You're still wrong. Sorry. It's been a year. You're still wrong. Yeah, she uh, might actually come back on the show now. Yeah, she, uh, she didn't want up. to before. Now she might. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Calling her out definitely works. <laughs> got to. Uh, Kanda, you got a question? Yeah, so I want to, going back to uh, the mutiny. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah fucking yeah. great. Man, this is what happens when your producer's not drinking. Exactly. They're like, exactly. they can keep notes. Your memory's a little bit better. Man, Ricky, you're putting uh, fired. Yes, uh, uh, I, was, I was witness to a. Uh, mm. A kitchen mutiny. Hell yeah. Um, um, mutiny is the exact word. Why? Because uh, we're pirates. Yes. But. Yes, it is. It is. Yes. Mm. Yep. Yep. Uh, one for all and all for, all one. for one. But it, uh, yeah, no, one, one chef. Uh, so, so, okay. This is your bleep button. <laughs> I will use names. I, yeah. I, I do that. No, no if not, just like look at. Well, we'll tell Ricky because Ricky does the editing. Like if there's something that slips out and you need to bleep yep, that later, yep, yep, don't yep. worry, we got. I that. mean, he's, it's only slipping out because he's not giving 100 percent dick. There so. you go. 100. <laughs> oh, but uh, if I'm yeah. not giving 100 percent, it's slipping out. If I'm at 90, percent it's falling yeah. out. <laughs> so are you good? I was like, no, nah, this is the, it was the angle. It was the, the, it was yeah, the angle. The yeah. Angle is your angle. leg up right now? Put that down. Put that down. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're not bouncing. We're scooting. <laughs> we're scooting. <laughs> you can go to intermediate. We can yeah. go together. You know? We can go down here. Shout out, man, dude. <laughs> uh, so so it was a mainly Hispanic dominated kitchen. Yeah. So, so so every kitchen in America. Yes. Okay, that's pretty gotcha, much pretty gotcha, much. Gotcha. Uh, mm-hmm. and and uh, as it goes, there's there's one white chef who doesn't know how to keep his mouth shut. Well, uh, there was two other people who did not speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and and yeah, they all kind of got together and it was it was 3 on 3 and it was just yeah. a screaming match in the kitchen. Yeah. As I'm trying to serve people in the front. It was 3 on 3. So wait, who was the white guy on? What side was he on? He was the, he was uh, so so Hispanics were dominating so Hispanics were the like yeah we said it was a guys. three on three yeah, screen yeah, yeah, match so yeah. so it was a white guy and two other white guys yeah. oh this was yeah. a race war pretty okay. much pretty yeah, much yeah, yeah. pretty much gotcha, very gotcha. very like like yeah, yeah. laws of mm-hmm. jungle helter skelter yes yeah. yes 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 um, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> uh, and and yeah no it it got to the point where it it almost ended up in a brawl. Almost, mm-hmm. um, yeah. It's no. casual Thursday, yeah. yeah. yeah pretty so much. what happened? Yeah, what pretty happened? Pretty much. Uh, so main kitchen, uh, the Hispanic guys were, were doing everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and and white guys, they, they were, all, were all put off on like, Taking you know. Credit. That. And being <laughs> like, yeah, no, you can do fry and you can yeah. do this and do like the little stuff. Like nothing where it was like. Fry is the easiest station, man. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Bro, fry, fry, all you got to do is know how to count. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Set that timer, yes, sir. Four minutes. Take that out. This guy's fucking balancing four pans and flipping yep, this yep, and yep. spinning a risotto, and making sure the sauce don't break. And, and, and you're over there like, I got two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, oh, oh no, oh, good, yeah. good. All right, all right. Yeah. Let me sit down real quick. All right. So white guys are on fry. Uh, and and they uh they they were mad that the the Hispanic guys were yelling at them because they mm. were like, well, we need those fries now, like all this and all that. Yeah. yeah. Escalated very quickly. Um, some words were said that I am not comfortable with. And from the Spanish guys? <laughs> no, from the white guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the white guys I, were calling them. Jesus. No, it got pretty rough. Did they give rough. them a towel for their back? 
That's so yeah. bad. That's, that's so bad. Uh, I didn't laugh at that, mom. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, your mom. Oh, jeez. Your mom was in the kitchen. Jesus. We, oh, we we've had some stuff happen in our kitchen. I told you about yesterday. Yeah. Tell you, yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, after work, it was a a literal like everybody was in each other's faces. Hell yeah. Kind of brawl Hell almost yeah. happening. Yeah. And then uh, the 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 main. The owner was was a. Uh, oh, the was owner a, was in the building. The, yeah. Oh yeah. damn! All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the and the owner was a mom, and, and, and mm. yeah, she shut that shit down. Oh, uh, she had mom, good yeah. mom energy. Okay, yep. okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Okay, yeah, she shut mm. that shit down. Uh, yep. Wait, so what was the mutiny? Uh, they they tried to uh, the, literally after that the uh, the white guy the mm. main white guy who started the whole argument and everything yeah he uh, he became a assistant kitchen chef kind of thing like he got it up. You got a promotion out of it. Yeah. Out of it. That's oh, not yeah. a mutiny at all. It, it, well, no, it, it's kind of, it, it wasn't. Look up the definition of mutiny real quick. Just so it's we get when a, you overthrow the, the main the main person. Yes, yeah. no one got overthrown. The white guy started yes. a fight and then. Yeah, then he got up and Did over. he take someone's uh, position? Yeah, I, yeah, that is technically. No, he has to, you have to take someone out and then take their position. Did he take anyone? I mean, he didn't take them out, but he I mean, no it, it changed the dynamic of the relationship who was in power. Proper authority. There was no authority in the situation that got overthrown. There was though. Okay, I did it's, it's, I missed it. Yeah, it's just it's. I, I thought I thought they were just line cooks fighting in line cooks, and then I mean, one of them got promoted. It was kind of, but not 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 a line cook. One of them was the kitchen manager, but it but they worked oh, on what side was all he? the time. What Hispanic, of course. Ah, so he got replaced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So so some. <sighs> okay, okay. So no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it was a meeting. So, my bad. So, I just I was missing details. I yeah, apologize. it was just yeah. yeah. No, that was my clarification. That's all it was. Well, it's all good. Be like that, man. Be like that. I love a good mutiny, man. I once got a college professor fri- fired because uh, I didn't like the way she was teaching, and I was just like, mute, guys, mutiny, <laughs> like, mutiny, guys, just get her, <laughs> mutiny. Oh, and I was, I was, because I'm really good at for like poking people's uh-huh, buttons. Uh-huh, I don't know uh-huh. if you saw the opening video. I'm the instigator. <laughs> like, I know. Devil's advocate. Like, yep. Yep. Boop, boop. Y- yep. Hey, devil's advocate. I'm Al Pacino. Um, yeah. So like, I know how to pe- push people's buttons. So Dunkachino. Like, yeah. Dunkachino. Dunkachino. It's <laughs> from uh, what? Jack and Jill, Adam Sandler. I haven't seen. I haven't seen that. One. They, they made, I respect Adam Sandler, so I didn't watch that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they made. They made. Uh, they made Al Pacino do a Dunkin' Dun- hey, Donuts. Yeah, y'all want some fucking donuts? Yeah, it yeah. was like it, he literally did a rap in a oh, in a Dunkin' God. Donuts commercial. It was Man. insane. I love Al Pacino. Why would he do that? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's you with them for 40 minutes <laughs> any given Sunday. I'm, I don't have a good impersonation, so sorry about that. <laughs> Let's just get to another question before I start doing more bad impersonations. Um, ha- have you ever had a rule made up at your job because of your actions? And if you haven't, what rule would be made up at your job that would be the Nate rule? A.K. the Decante rule is you can't be playing pool during your job during your shift. <laughs> I, I, it's not I'd, an official rule. I'd but like, like to uh, while you're working, you can't play pool because Decante be fucking hit. <laughs> People are like, yo, I need a I need a shot. He goes, I'm about to make a shot. <laughs> you know, so. uh, a little subsection of, of Decante's uh, okay. of chess as well and include chess as that. Oh yeah, yeah. Chess, the first yeah, time yeah. I met Decante, oh, yeah. yeah, Richard, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he was running the squares. Yeah, he was, yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And they running was the squares. Was, like, yeah. Friday, Saturday night, mm. and, like it was like eleven o'clock. There was people in there, mm. but you know, sit down real quick and a little. <laughs> yeah, mm. it was great. They say life is like checkers. I don't understand checkers. Uh, I'm gonna say chess. There you <laughs> go. Yeah. See, I don't understand that either. <laughs> I wanted to see where. I don't understand going. either one. <laughs> I don't get life, so it's all good. Damn. All right. So, what's your rule? What's the Nate dog rule? I uh, um. Hmm. That's a good one. I mean. I don't know. It did be the normal mm-hmm. shit. Like, like, it's like, like. not normal shit. What's your shit? Or what's your shit that has become normalized, I guess? Uh, maybe. I'd say you might. Mine's talking shit about everyone I work with. They, mm. but like, can, can you stop <laughs> telling guests of your drama? Uh, yeah, uh, so. Taking uh, everything as a that's what she said. You're that. You yeah. thought that's what she said. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh man. Yep. yep. After I am. after the fifth time, I'm just like. And literally, no. It gets to the point where I don't even say it anymore. I just give looks. Yeah. I just get. The, that's what she said. Eyes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, did you really just say that to me right now? You know what I'm gonna say to that. Come on now. Come on. Oh, wow. That man. that that would probably be. That's yeah. rough. Man. That's rough. Because mm-hmm. when that's what she said first hit the scene. That was yeah. yeah that was yo yeah, yeah, yo. Yep, yep, yep. Anything anything <laughs> that. You know what? What that's replaced with right now is ao sus. A- yeah, yeah. A- it's ao sus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sus. Pause. 
Test pause. Yeah, I think pause is dead now. I think yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so, uh, oh, do you it's, still say it's pause? That, it's yeah. that one you you bring up every once yeah. in a while. It's not pause. 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 I have brought up, and I've had the social justice warriors be like, "Wait, you can't say homophobic things." I'm like, I just like. <sighs> You can't say homophobic. I mean, this is a, this is a we're making a joke right now that yeah. someone is saying something a little too like so you got to pause it and they're like why can't they say that I'm like because it's a fucking bar <laughs> and like I'm not gonna go to the bathroom if you're standing next to me bro exactly like, geez, you gotta on. go to the urinal uh, we got a urinal in between I don't mm. if that's not common knowledge let that be the only thing you all learn from me today all right so if you do go another, into yeah. the to the bathroom right mm. first urinal mm. oh, you know good to go right middle urinal not. Off limits. Off limits. Urinal, urinal math. That's the next segment fertile. we're gonna create. There you go. We're gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna put together the board and everything, and then <laughs> have the guests grab everything, yeah, man, and yes. have the guests pick which fucking one you said. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, <laughs> dude, uh, dude you're gonna have to come back for this episode because it requires production. Ricky is <laughs> just kidding. Ricky, I love you, you man. Yeah. I got a question. Do you play the circle game? Circle game. Yeah. Like well, you, but you, you do the circle. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, below yeah, the waist, everything. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. yeah. So, so I um, when I was in oh, school, public school, sucks. um, necking was a big thing. Oh, so I slapping the back. That. Of, yeah, I know. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no necking is like yeah, 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 yeah. I was clarifying. I was like, what kind of school did you go to? Slapping the back of people's necks. It's called necking. Okay, not not throwing the neck. That's different. Oh, neck. No, no, no. Necking like is an older term for just like making out, like hooking up, like oh y'all was oh, necking. Oh like, no no, necking, I, yeah. oh, maybe it's that. a country thing. I don't. My dad says it's a bunch. Maybe so. uh, I'm not yeah. sure. I, I'm not country uh, or or old. So. How are you? I mean, you're Sorry. from I am Dale, Dale, Dale Shitty. Shitty. Yeah, yeah, Dale Shitty. Shitty. Yes, sir. You will mm. never hear me say Dale Shitty <laughs> after that one right there. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it will be forever known as Dale Shitty. Yeah. Um, so necking was slapping the back of the neck. Yes, and then also, so, so so if you said something stupid, yeah, I'd be like, that's a neck. You'd have to neck yourself, and if you didn't, I got the full on from yeah. from heaven to kingdom come. Yeah. Slap Yo, the do back that? Of your that was, neck. Yeah, yes. that was middle school. Yo, yes. that's so yes. aggressive, yes. Jesus. And then, and then um, I have seen people like slap people's necks, and I'm just yeah. like, Yo, and that's, then, are y'all friends? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Scares me. Yeah. <laughs> right. I went to high and school then, in Japan, so okay, I, I don't okay, know these okay, things. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, you circle with three fingers above. It's above. Uh, Waist yeah, level. I got a manager yeah, who yeah, does above, this shit. It's yeah, yeah. so above stupid. waist level, it yeah. doesn't matter. You yeah. can just sit here and do this. But a below waist level, and you look at it, yeah. that's up. I mean, from like up here. Yeah. Like if you look at yeah. this and it's below my waist, I can slap your you. You can slap the yeah. fuck out of my what neck. The fuck? Yeah. Yep. All right. So our manager who does this, he hasn't slapped me yet, but I think I've looked at his fingers doing that before. If I look well, at his, if I look at his fingers and they're down there, he yeah. he's gonna slap me. He, he, technically, yeah, he has. that's that's that that would be the law yeah. of the game. Yo, yes. What? Yeah, no, I'm gonna fucking sue him, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. Yo, I'm gonna go to HR, man. What the fuck? <laughs> no, get the uh -huh. fuck out of here. Yep. H HR in a restaurant is your female manager. In yeah, case you yeah, didn't yeah. know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then uh, and ours is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yo, I didn't know you slap people's neck. Okay, I've seen people do that game, and I'm always literally the thing I just did to you. I'm like, I grew up in America. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I don't know. So I've seen him do it to me before. He's like, Hey, Isaac. Huh? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. What does that? What does that mean? It's so so. Sorry, if, yeah. So if you look at it, I get mm. to slap your neck. Okay. And then if if I've heard people can put a finger yes, yes, through yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. So if I have it down here, yes. you do not look at it before you just put a finger in it Damn or this. before <laughs> or, or, or before <laughs> yeah. before like before I get the chance like okay. to unbreak the circle of my fingers. Okay. You you don't have to get necked. I get necked. Oh. So it's a it's a reversal. Yeah. So fucking Oh, she's like 12 years ago, I'm, I'm old, uh, I worked at uh, the steakhouse back when it was the original steakhouse, not the All-American Steakhouse, the original steakhouse. Mm, mm -hmm. um, I didn't understand, Guy, some guys would take like a ramekin of like ranch and hold it and then walk around and then I would see guys like finger it down there and they're like, ha ha ha, I'm like... Because the they, they, they would, everybody was like, "Oh no, you're not getting me. Yeah. You're not getting me." Yeah, they poke, but you're yeah. not looking at it because you're not looking in, at it. They would poke, and then they would just get the like ranch. a finger full of ranch or something. Uh, oh, that's a good one. I didn't think about that. Sense. Okay, I, didn't, I, didn't I, I never that. understood it. You're connecting a 12 year arc <laughs> so, for me right so now. So many like, dots. <laughs> I was like, "That's why Adam always walked around with ranch in his fingers." <laughs> like, that's oh, well, wow. I just called them ranch fingers. Yeah, ranch fingers. Yeah, that's awful. All right, totally freaking cool. And then hornets too. 
Hornets? Hornets? What is Hornets. It? You don't. Jesus. You didn't know what. You... I did not grow up in America. Oh, that's so. right. That's right. Okay. So moved here when I was like seventeen. So you yeah. would fold a full sheet of paper, yeah. printer paper, fold it up so oh. tight. Yes. Okay. okay. Two rubber bands. Hornets, and come up yeah. and slap somebody. Oh. With. Yeah. That some people would put pennies in it so it would fly and it, when it hits you. You put penny in the paper? In the paper. In the paper. So that yeah. way it would be aerodynamic, like it'd have force behind it. Yeah, okay. And then some people would put thumbtacks in it. So that Yo. way it hits you oh, and no. it's stuck. Yo, yeah. man, that's a WMD right there. <laughs> so that's mass destruction. I'm in major country. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this shit was crazy. Uh, but yeah, no, it's... You're talking about fucking torture techniques. You're like, ah, crazy. Yo, your PTSD is so bad right now. You got to see a therapist, man. Your trauma is bad. <laughs> Yo, crazy, man. I remember thumbtacking motherfuckers in the side of the face. Saying, that's, not, that's not healthy. There you go, man. That's not Middle healthy at all. Is warfare, all right. bro. All right. Uh, what is the drunkest sporting event for you? Ooh. NASCAR by far. Which is crazy. You want to know something? Yeah. I don't watch NASCAR. That's why. No one watches, no one I, watches I, NASCAR. Exactly. But when it's in town, you go. Exactly. Okay. And then that's when you get mm. the most fucked up. Because mm. if Danny all, Hamlin, <laughs> if all I'm hearing is, yeah. and then just getting drunk the whole day, I'm down. I was told by a NASCAR fan they only watch it because it's you waiting for the crash. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Everybody. Yeah. That's why I'm a derby guy. I'm a demolition <laughs> derby guy. Yeah. This <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> Prince William uh, <laughs> County Derby. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's Saturday. Over real? Yeah, Saturday's the demolition derby. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Okay. Shout out. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, Ricky. This has been like six years in a row. We've talked about building a car and doing the fucking uh, derby oh, together. That'd be so not 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 Ricky fun. on the show. My boy Ricky, White Lightning Ricky. You want to try some moonshine? I am down for some moonshine. Sorry, I just knocked all that over. It was a frozen bottle with a bottom <laughs> that like elongated. I'm gonna drink this moonshine because. No, you didn't. I gotta bleep that out. Uh, Ricky, bleep that out. Other Ricky, bleep that part out. He did not give me this illegal alcohol. But Ricky, who actually listens to the show, we've talked about this for six, seven years now. We've talked about because you build you build derby cars. I got money for a derby car. You 20, 2024. I'm not in this derby. I'm going to annul your marriage because I married you and your wife. You heard it here <laughs> yeah. first, folks. Yeah. Isaac will be participating no, in the Derby next year. Oh, fucking, I want to do it so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big person of like make announcements. Uh, wait, no, uh, what is that? Don't tell people your plans. Uh, tell people your announcement. Mm -hmm. So like, I've I try my best not to talk about like, oh, yep, I plan yep, on yep. doing this. I plan on yep, doing this. Yep. I'd rather just announce that I'm already doing it. Like if you say, but, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym this year, tell a bunch of people you'd never go to the nah, gym. I'm, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, make announcements, not plans. Mm -hmm. That's yep, yeah, yep. that's that's the term. Yep. So this is going against me right now, but I'm announcing that I plan to 2024. Ricky, we're doing this. We're doing the fucking demolition derby. Your name can be on the side. Bargo will be on the side. This is a shot of white lightning that my other friend, not you, gave to me. <laughs> this is Virginia Moonshine. I don't know if you watch Lawless, but Virginia Moonshine is like the best. It's actually really smooth as far as Moonshine goes. Eh, it's not bad. Eh, not bad. It's, it's uh, no, no, no. It's the yeah. first moonshine I've had that hasn't had a like a specific flavor. Oh yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm not a flavor guy. Yeah, I'm okay. not a flavor guy. Yeah, I respect just, it. I respect it. Straight, yeah, just give me, give me what it but is. I, I want to taste alcohol. Apple pie moonshine though. Yeah, with the little cinnamon stick in there. <sighs> Are you an apple Fantastic. pie moonshine guy? Nah, I like the peach. Oh, peach. Okay. Peach is a good one too. Solid. Yeah, and then there's a cherry pie one too. It's cinnamon stick and cherry, black cherries, like with the pits in them. It's fantastic. Yeah. I like black cherries, but with the pits, like the pits are in mm. the moonshine. Yep. All right, true. Well, I mean, it's in the cherry. They put the full cherry. Oh, they just the, the whole cherry. Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Cheer titties guy. Oh well, I um, would classify myself as an ass guy, but well, I, he's I, the one who likes peaches, and you like cherries. So. I mean, I'm gonna make sense, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, Absolutely saying, makes based sense. on what you're putting in your mouth. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Daddy, don't discriminate. This is I'm just there saying that right now. Oh yeah, John Mayer says his dick is a white supremacist. All right. Did you know that? No, I didn't. John Mayer, <laughs> the, guy, <laughs> the guy, the guy who wrote, you know, uh, "Slow Dancing in a Burning Room." You know, <laughs> your body's a wonderland. On Rolling Stones, just type in it. Go to Google and say John Mayer. Dick is a white supremacist. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking funny. I feel so bad for dragging this. Guy. I mean, it was like 15 no years way. ago. Yeah, no, no, there is a way. And then we're going to go back to the, the drunk sporting event for you. Because this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens on the show. It's bad. Yep, yep. But yeah, my dick a is a ADHD is a little strong in the I, room. 
Use, oh, use the N-word in the Playboy? Yep. His di- no, he said his dick is racist. Yeah. Yeah. John Mayer's penis My, is racist. Is dick, is, yeah. GQ says John Mayer's penis is racist. Wait, go back. Go back to the GQ. main page. Just go to the Google page. I'll go, I'll go say guys. Yeah. So GQ announces that John Mayer's penis is racist. Phoenix Times says John Mayer says his dick is a white supremacist. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it was in a Playboy article, and they were like, yo, what kind of what bitches you fuck? fuck? And he's like, who, who do I fuck? We are used to celebrities saying stuff. Boy, we were used to celebrity saying mm. stupid things in interviews. Uh, read, yeah, read, read there. Uh, Play in Playboy extensive interview. Go ahead, yeah, Ticante. Uh, <laughs> <where you, laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Play, Playboy did an extensive interview with him where he said, "My dick is sort of like a white supremacist. I've got a Ben Hunt heart and a fucking David Duke cock." <laughs> yeah, like, Yo, I did not know that yeah. he said he called We're his dick starting. David Duke. Yo, <laughs> yo, sh- I mean, Ricky said some racist things on here. And I, I know, wait, I know wait, 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 wait. The second, but the last David sentence of the Duke of the yet. quote is insane. I'm going to start dating separately from my dick. That mm-hmm. is uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, that's him saying he's trying to learn. <laughs> yeah. he, he's trying to yeah. say like, look, I've only been fucking white bitches because my <laughs> dick is racist, but I'm trying yeah. to be a better man than what my dick is. That's the, uh, here's the thing is that is hilarious, but I, I totally understand how it got it got, it got wrong. <laughs> John Mayer was the man. He used to yeah he's a, he's crazy. Shout out John Mayer. That's crazy. So Nate, come on man, you didn't answer the fucking question. Mm. What's the drunkest sporting event? Drunkest sporting event for you? Oh no, you did say NASCAR. Yeah, NASCAR. yeah you said yeah. NASCAR. Yep. I tried throwing shade at the guests all the time, but uh, you were right. You're right. <laughs> it's sunny outside. Man. Did you know uh, fucking? NASCAR events, you could bring your own cooler into the race. Oh, really? That's awesome. Hell yeah, baby. That's sweet. Yeah, it's the only... Sp- every other sporting event, like, I can't even bring a fucking vape pen in. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, get yeah. this shit back. NASCAR, they're like, bring it in, brother. They're like, I don't give a fuck. Can you carry... As long as you can carry the cooler, yep. you can bring it in. Exactly. It can't have wheels, and you got it's got to be carried in. You know where uh, NASCAR got its name? Uh, National Auto Stock Car. See, you're talking a lot of specifics right now. I'm just giving the acronym, because yeah, yeah, NASCAR's yeah. an acronym. That's a NASCAR... Na- that's NASCAR. That's not. That's redneck right there. Yeah, that's a NASCAR right there. Yes, sir. It's National <laughs> National Auto oh Stock Car American Racing. Yeah, I think yeah. is what it is. It's something like that. Yeah, I mean, I think it might be exactly that. Look at it, I mean, Nas- hey, NASCAR acronym. We've got a fact check. <laughs> <laughs> we do, because Ricky's not here to not do it. <laughs> Gandhi here's to actually do it. NASCAR and just acronym. Just acronym. National uh, National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing. I got the association. National one. Association. Yep. Stock yeah, Car Auto Racing. Yep. I feel like you can make an acronym out of anything, though. Say that you word again. Those, say that word. Acronym. We'll say it one more time. <laughs> go ahead. Say it. An acronym. Okay. There you go. I, 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 I heard acronym. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's drinking non-alcoholic, so I'm sorry about that. That's my fault. That's my fault. My bad, guys. All right. Uh, we've got another question for you. Speaking of the NASCAR vibe here. To run in the kitchen. White guy, Spanish guy, black guy, Asian guy. Walk in, all same credentials. Who are you hiring? Uh, uh-huh. He's Whoa. like pretending it's a hard decision. Right yes, now. I am actually. <laughs> funny enough, because I already he's know. He's dancing right there. He's like, <laughs> I already know. I already know. <laughs> I don't even know who is he. Is Eduardo available? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you no, know, it's definitely yeah. Mm. DMV, it'd be Hispanic for can, sure. Can, can you explain why? And like, I don't think it's. A, I don't think this is a racist answer. It's probably racist for me to ask this, but why? Um, it's not feeding into stereotypes, but mm. what Hispanic men are one of the hardest workers I've seen, mm. uh, and, and as well as um, the the amount of community. Like if it's because I've never been in a com- in a kitchen where it's just been one Hispanic man, so it, it's normally you know five or six you know Hispanic people, and they're all working together, yeah. and they all it all welds together very well. Okay, that that I feel like is is probably one of the the better upsides, the most. As well. Really? That's, that's, I would have never crazy. fucking guessed. Reported by who? Oh, Conte, please go ahead and read this. Great, pro- <laughs> great production, please. Go ahead. The most common ethnicity among kitchen workers is white, which makes up about 60% of all kitchen workers. And some thought, apparently, apparently where we're living, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this, I don't know what statistics these are, you yeah. know, what areas these are doing. As well. I've, 
It says, oh, it's a, it's a pretty 50-50 split between men and women, which also I don't, as someone who's worked in this industry forever, I don't see that happening. Most, I've seen a lot of prep, like uh, prep ladies be, mm-hmm. um, prep people be of the ladies' persuasion, I guess. But, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Six. Maybe th- maybe this is a Nova thing. Maybe this is a Northern it, Virginia it thing. But could be. It could be. But also, this is <laughs> this is someone taking a census, and you know who yeah. doesn't participate in census? <laughs> 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 I'm living in this house alone. <laughs> There's not 20 people in there. It's just me. It's just me. Just, just me. Just me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I'll, I'll give you all the credit in the world. Anthony Bourdain says any any race in the world. He he said specifically, give me. Mexican or Guatemalan, and they will work harder than any other person I've ever had. I was like, oh, yes, shit, yes, I get yes. that. Yeah, the number three. At least, actually, I'd say my number two would probably be El Salvadorian. <laughs> there you go, well, El Salvadorian, yeah. N- Northern Virginia. We got especially yeah. specifically here, Woodbridge. We have a bunch of uh, El Salvadorians. Yep, yep. I don't know. We actually have a, a very high rating of uh, Korean people as well, which I never thought was true, but it's actually very true. Right. Have you ever been to Annandale? I've sometimes not, not, okay. not, not particularly. So I, uh, my sister got married here and in the Philippines because she married a, uh, dem- not a Democrat, a uh, diplomat. She married a diplomat. Uh, <laughs> not a Democrat, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. no, <laughs> well, no. He's a Filipino, uh, not a Democrat. Um, so they had one, ma- one marriage here and then another one because instead of flying in 80 people, they were just like, yeah. they're just going to have a wedding Seriously. in the Philippines. Yep. yep, yep, so, yep. All right, cool. So we go. Uh, to fly out there, and then I found a direct flight from here, East Coast, all the way to Korea. Okay. And then a one-hour flight, or it was like one-and-a-half, two-hour flight from Korea to um, the Philippines. And I was just like, yo, 14-hour direct flight, yeah. you have to have a lot of people flying there. Yeah. Like, normally, w- when I go to the Philippines or Japan, I got to go to LAX. Yeah. I got to go to Seattle yeah. first. I don't have to go from Virginia, Dulles, Virginia. Mm-hmm. Two straight to Korea. And I was like, this makes no sense. And then as I'm driving to the airport, you go through Annandale, and you're like, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people trying to go home. A lot of people trying to go home. I get that. All right. Cool, uh, cool, cool. Crazy fact, actually. Mm-hmm. I've uh, never been on an airplane. I I was going to ask about your travel because yep, you did yep. say that you were born Fairfax? Born Fa- Fairfax County Hospital. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Born ra- or raised in Dale Shitty. Okay. And then, uh, you know... Rounded out by the other side of Woodbridge, but what's the uh, what's the first street you grew up on? Lindendale. So uh, Lindendale. that's the main street. Yeah. So the actual street I lived on was Lambsgate Lane. Lambsgate. Okay. Yep, Lambsgate. But that's off of Lindendale. What was the name of your first pet? Uh, my first pet would be Cookie. She's a Boston Cookie? Terrier. Yeah. Damn, Boston that's crazy. Terrier. What's your mother's maiden name? <laughs> 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 Damn! Uh, getting enough alcohol. Out of you. They, they get them security questions out of here. Go, hey, man. Man. Damn, I was so fucking close. <laughs> you wouldn't have got me. Your damn spoiling kids. Or whatever the fuck I said. Meddling kids. <laughs> yeah, meddling kids. There you go. All right, kind of. Uh, let's go back to the questions here. Um, I, I know we had another one. Uh, let's go to the top because I, I had one I wanted to ask. Oh, so you're applying to you're applying to a kitchen, and they ask you to describe yourself. Would you ever describe yourself as a drone worker? Or a kitchen artist? There's no middle ground? Well, you're applying for a job to work in someone's kitchen. What, 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 how do you describe yourself as a chef? Uh, definitely closer to artist, but I take criticism well. Mm. Uh, hey, not the eyebrow raise. I saw uh, it. Yeah, it's, uh, um, I, it, I, mean, I literally just read something by Bourdain. <laughs> I love this guy, so I'm just like, <laughs> artist <laughs> is dumb. You say artist, you're not going to get hired. He's also dead, so no matter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I mean, for the most part, when I'm in the interview, mm. I, I take criticism well. I'm a drone worker. I do everything I need to do in the day. Uh, mm. I'm not somebody who will take anything personally. Yeah. Uh, uh, rolls off my back. Really. Artists take everything personally. I am here. I've yeah. I've done art my <laughs> entire like, life, man. Like it, it's we're just like I am, you don't like my acting choice where I thought he would furrow his brow. Wow, <laughs> wow, like. As artists, we are the most vain, mm-hmm. you know, egotistical people. See, but I have that. I have that little, yeah. little, little egotistical side. I think of me. chef should be artists. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. But chef, not line cook. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. And, and there's definitely a difference. Yeah, there's okay. Definitely a difference. Can but you explain to the the regulars watching the show? I think regulars. We're gonna go with regulars. That's their name. To the regulars watching the show, what is the hierarchy in the kitchen? So, so, um, well, well, shit. Uh, I'm in a kitchen like it this. should be easy. Who's number one? 
That'd be chef. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then you get sous chef underneath, but that's okay. that's like actual. Yeah, but in the like bear, everyone's prop. called chef. Yeah, exactly. Or cousins. So, so <laughs> 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 or mommy or poppy. This way. Right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then uh, I don't. I, you got your preps. Preps are probably preps are three. Yeah. No, I'd say preps are are probably five six. If I if I'm counting so, right, so they're closer to the wanna, bottom. Yeah. I'm thinking chef, sous chef, chef, sous chef. Who's under that? So under that would probably be your regular line cook, somebody okay. who who is just sitting there. The guy working the broiler, exactly. That's yep, yep, yep. of of the stations. The what's the hardest station? <laughs> hardest station would mm-hmm. probably be in a restaurant. Like uh, your uh, restaurant's probably the eggs. The best, yeah. I was about yeah. to say breakfast place to be eggs because yeah. that is we do eggs soft scrambled, scram hard scrambled, everything like. All three levels for each indig- individual type of egg. Mm. So we do poached, all that. That's yeah. crazy. And you don't know how many times I have to send shit back because that is not an uh, over yeah, medium egg. Yeah. That is not an over medium egg at all. That Deca- is not an over uh, easy egg at all. DeConte told me the other day he prefers his eggs like his animals poached. Like your animals? Animals. Oh, animals. Yes, ah, animals. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <'cause> I, <laughs> I'm an yeah. over medium kind of guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gooey, not runny, yeah. but, but you know. It, well, it depends. Like, if I have some toast with it, I'm going sunny side. So if I'm doing over medium over top of something, yeah. like you get a little breakfast potato bowl. Yeah. Yeah, and then put over medium eggs and mix it all up. It's a nice, nice, good consistency. I, I like that. Yeah. I like that. But I'm more of a over mediums over rice guy. Because oh, yeah, that would be solid. fantastic. Yeah. There's nothing to do with the hierarchy of a kid. A- at all. At all. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a chunky guy. Food food matters to I me. I get that, yeah. No. But, uh, Nate yeah. Dog! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you got chef, sous, sous chef, chef line then your cook. line cooks. And then I would probably say salad. Salad station, okay. Yep, yep. Because that, that's definite. And uh, and where I'm working now, we have half half sandwich, half salads. So if that oh, salad's yeah, yeah. not up first, or if that salad's not ready, and I'm have half a sandwich getting cold, it, it kind of messes it up. Well, would you rather serve a cold sandwich or a hot salad? I'd rather serve a hot salad. <sighs> yeah, because because cold sandwich would be different. <sighs> nah, because when you're expecting a sandwich, sandwich that, yeah. because I don't know who okay. or where y'all been eating or how y'all yeah. been eating, but I go for my sandwich first, not my salad, unless oh, it's two salad. unless it's two separate things. Salad, salad by salad definition first, is an appetizer. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Unless that salad comes out first, but if you're ordering salad as your side with your meal, mm-hmm. it's different. To me, I'm not going for that so salad. You get a you get a, a salad. salad. You get a salad sandwich. They put it down in front of you. You I'm, grab a sandwich first. I'm taking a two bites of sandwich, maybe halfway through the so whole your sandwich. Your palate cleanser, and then I will go to salad mm-hmm. and be like, "Okay, salad's nice. I salad's nice. Salad maybe crust sandwich. salad and then finish the rest of the sandwich." Yeah. But to be honest, if I'm being completely honest, it'll be fries. It's not going to be salad. Okay, how about if there's a hot protein on it, like chicken? Shrimp, oh, no, then I'm going salad first. Go salad. If it's Perfect like a chicken Caesar salad, yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, some chicken Caesar salads, they, some places serve them hot. Some cold, yeah, cold, cold chicken. chicken. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I'm not big a fan of that. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I like a cold salad and warm chicken. Okay. So mm-hmm. so if I if I get it and it's you know lukewarm chicken and a lukewarm salad, I'm like ah yeah. you know I mean it's not I'm not gonna say no. So what's like the nastiest you th- thing you've done in the kitchen during a shift? Oh, you're trying to bring out health codes again. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, tell what restaurant or what year. I'm not saying Madigan's ni- 97 fucking health code violations <laughs> while you were there. You were there. Hey, 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 yeah. I, was, I was an underling, okay? Yeah. I had no control over that. I cleaned my stations. I'll, I'll, I'll say I've had sex <laughs> at my job a few times. I worked at a nightclub. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean. During I mean, operational hours. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, um, not, maybe not full intercourse, but definitely fellatio. Uh, uh, ah, so, so. You were uh, like a dick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey. Oh, he said he had. He said he had. <laughs> you got me before I could say no. I didn't sorry. hear what you said. Sorry, so. sorry. No, you're good. You're good. That's the clip. Uh. <laughs> First time on the show, ladies and gentlemen. First time okay. on the show. Uh, oh, yeah. Fellatio. Fellatio's cool, man. Where's fellatio happening while you're working? Is the walk in so, the dry so, storage? So, okay, okay. So yeah. I can't speak for everybody, but the walk in is a little too cold for your boy. So, okay. so I'm, I'm not. You ain't getting you know, no Eskimo pussy. I'm not <laughs> presenting anything in the cold. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right, all right. All right. Uh, um, mm. But you know, I've worked in a lot of places that have had outside seating mm. and, and outside areas. Patio pussy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, see, right. as long as you understand. Mm. But it, it's you know, 
there's certain spots you gotta you gotta work around because cameras are on every corner. Right. But mm. you know, everybody's got loopholes. Uh, you know, the poop hole yeah. loophole. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, but you know, so the patio mm. where cars are driving by. <laughs> Without giving away too much on a river. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just so that way there's no lawsuits. Radicans, radicans. Okay. (laughs) Totally cool. Um, Okay. If you had to describe uh, yourself as a drink, shooter, cocktail, like what would you you say? Drink. Uh, A Hulk with gummy worms in it. An incredible hope. Yep. So Hennessy hypnotic gummy worms. Yeah. Because I'm a little bit too much for some people. But but I'm sweet and I'm cool. And you get you you, you get with me, you're getting fucked up. It's just how you, it's just how it is. And you're gonna get that gummy worm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I like that. That was the fastest person to, you know, answer that question. All right, I'll give you that. All right, Conte, you got any other questions or you want to put it to a vote? What do you got? Um all right, so when you're handing out food for people to run, do you hand it to the person that just walked in the kitchen or the person that's been okay? Sitting okay, in the so this right. is this is a very oh, yeah, yeah. very big this, deal yeah, at work. Like yeah, okay. this is right, a right, very right. big deal at work. <laughs> so I I definitely have my regular food runners, right. but mm-hmm. to be fair, most of the server industry is dominated by women. So a lot of the time. I, I don't get people immediately coming up to me and be like, oh, no, I'll run that food for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you no. need runners? Yeah, yeah. Do no, you it, need me to do some it work? It doesn't happen no, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to yell. Yeah. And I feel bad because I grew up around all women. So I'm not, I don't like yelling at nobody. For they, real. They, they respond to yelling better than men do. And yes, yes, they do. 100%. <laughs> but at the What's same, up, dude? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> and then, um, like but. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. It, it gets a little frustrating because I'll mm-hmm. call for hands, nobody shows up, yeah. and I'm I'm like, I got hands. Yeah, exa- right, yeah. exactly, right. exactly. You yeah. know, you know, equal rights, equal fights is all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Equal lefts, equal rights. Yeah, damn right. But um, it happens. You know, sometimes other days, you know, some people are like, oh, I won't run food at all. Yeah. And you're like, no, no, that's not that's not how that works. <laughs> I don't run food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my table numbers. That's my excuse. I was like, I don't know the table numbers. Yeah, right. Isaac, it's your uh, food. I don't know table numbers, dog. Yeah, I just walk. I just walk. Uh, I'm a dickhead. I'm, I'm an enemy. I'm an enemy. Yeah. And, and the thing is, where I'm at with my expo position, I'm in the middle of the whole server. Like the kitchen where the servers hang out, I'm in the dead smack in the middle. So I hear everything going down on my right. Mm-hmm. I hear everything going down on my left. Mm-hmm. So I know when you're sitting there bullshitting, and when you're actually you're like, oh, Pretty. no, I can run food. I can run food. Yeah, no, I can do this and I can do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got like three people I can depend on <sighs> that are there. Like, okay, some of them need fucking bells or something because yes. they'd be popping up behind me without so, no warning. As this so, question goes, you're handing it to the people you can depend on, not the people who've just been standing. Oh, yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. 100%. 100%. Um, a lot of the time, uh, I am depending on the same three to four people. Mm-hmm throughout the day to run food. Um, and then that last hour, if we're slow, I'm running food by myself because right. I'm like, I'm not sitting here yelling. So, yeah. so when you not going to let food get cold. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So when you have people ready to run, you're going to run to the guys that always run the food, not the person that's not Well, running. Well, the thing is, they run to me because yeah. I don't move during my shift. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So I'm sitting there eight, ten hours. He nah. doesn't falter. He's the rock at Gibraltar. At all. I, you don't know me, son. You don't know me. <laughs> Who's going to carry the kids? Mm-hmm. Who's, Who's going to carry the boats? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, it, it, yeah, it's it's normally the same three to four people. And right. then if I do have to yell at people. Because you, you guys don't have food runners? No. No, oh, it's servers yeah, running. Server. It's running yeah, everybody's right. food. Dang. Everybody's running everybody's yeah. food. A lot so of the times, yeah, them servers get real um, entitled, real mm-hmm. fast. Brittany. You have uh, no idea. <laughs> hey, Brittany, I know Brittany. Uh, Brittany, 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 uh, Brittany, 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 Brittany. Okay, gotcha. And, and, <laughs> I'm kidding. I like you. And there's times I have to call people out by name. I'm like, yeah. "Can you do this for me? Brittany. Can you run? This? <laughs> Can you run this for me?" <laughs> uh, nah, because because okay, yeah. I will. I won't lie. Okay, Brittany.
Whitney's not the first person to come run food, yeah. mm. but she is the first person to yell. If She'll snap I at someone. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, mm. yes. 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 Hey. She's so, good so, at that. Yeah, yeah. If, if she got head mistress energy. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Right. So, so if I need something done, mm. and I'm not going to sit here and yell at you because it's not my food, it's not yeah. my table. So I'm not dependent on the money that's coming from this. Gotcha. So that means if it sits here for 15 minutes, yeah, it sits here for 15 minutes. I mean, it's going to irritate the shit out of me because it's my space where I'm putting food. Yeah. Just taking out, yeah. Taking up real estate. Exactly. Mm. But, like, I'm not, I'm not. <clears throat> but yeah, then don't you shot. have to remake it, though? And if it comes out it. cold, yes. If they send it back. But, yeah. but, but. Well, British people don't know what good food tastes like at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is very much yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, they have to refire the order. Ah. So it has to come back up on my computer yeah. before I remake anything. Gotcha. Nice. So okay. if you take too long to run your food. You gotta refire it. I'm sorry. Mm. No, you gotta ring it in so it's under you. Exactly. So, so <laughs> yeah. corporate knows, uh -huh. you know, uh, seen your yep. first watch can yep. see <laughs> Brittany uh, forgot to, you know, gotcha. Okay, cool. Exactly. Cool. Yep, yep. All right. So cool. All right, Kante, let's put it to a vote. What do you got? Bar enemy bar friend. Uh I'm kind of stuck in between. He told me some answers <laughs> at it's the food running thing for me. I'm like, no, oh, really? Those people run that shit. Oh, no, no, oh, definitely. I call no, he, people out of their no, names he's, sometimes. He, he's coming from as the server. Cause yeah, he, yeah. As Decante, as the guy who does run the food when called by, I've seen him walk by four servers who ain't doing shit and myself yep. standing there not doing shit. He's like, <laughs> I'll run it, I guess. Uh -huh. I'm like, thank God Decante's there. Like, yeah. Awesome, yeah. man. Yep, yep. Hey, good for you, dog. Uh, good for well, you. Yeah. To be fair, when So I'm, he's mad that you're not doing, quote, unquote, when, when I'm would calling for hands, job. I'm not yeah. calling anybody in particular. Yeah. I got the same four people behind me. It's four day yeah. but um when it gets to a certain point i will literally go not stevie yeah. not not shay like can i get hands please not stevie can i get hands please not shay can i get yeah like that's Fuck you, stevie <laughs> I don't know who Stevie uh, is. Nah, Stevie's cool. Don't no 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 fuck with Stevie. Yes. I just said it. <laughs> See me, bro. Come on the podcast. <laughs> we need people. Um, yeah, all right. But uh, yeah, no. Sometimes I have to call people out by name yeah. to 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 take it because right. a lot of people do not run food. So kind of you're, you're on front of me right now. Is that what you're saying? I'm on front of me. You're on, you're on front of me. Yeah. Okay, I'm right in the middle. Right I'll take I'll take front of me. I, uh, okay. Have you ever been kicked out from a bar? That that's like my teeth. Me personally, no. Yeah, no. Have I ever kicked somebody out of a bar? Yes. Yeah. But but right, that's well. not. I was but gonna, that's different. I was that's, gonna call him an enemy, but like if you've helped kick somebody out, you're as somebody friend. who told me to get the fuck back in the kitchen, yeah. as a bartender, you're not telling me to get the fuck back in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, no. That that's that's the only time. But um, yeah, no. I, I, I've never been that kicked sounds, out of a bar. That sounds like a friend to me, man. Sounds like a friend to you. Hey. I so I have such a weird connection with people at, for guests <laughs> who help the staff kick somebody out because I've been thrown out of so many bars where like the security's causing problems with me and I'm like I got a problem with this Ye motherfucker yeah because this motherfucker yep. ain't doing his job right exactly because I'm, I get drunk and I'm that I'm that asshole we're like <laughs> I'm like my girl's going to use the bathroom he's like you got to get out I was like now nah, my girl's in the bathroom you just let her to the bathroom I'm gonna wait right here he goes you gonna wait outside I'm like I ain't gonna wait outside I'm gonna wait right here like I'm I'm that asshole and so I'll start some shit with the bartender or not the bartender yeah, the yeah, security yeah, guard I'm yeah. like no oh, fuck you don't you don't carry me out carry me out and, and then yeah. some random dude I'm like <laughs> fuck <laughs> this dude too so like I hate that dude you're that dude is what you're saying that but, hand on the shoulder the, out of nowhere man I know what? if it's from someone that works there I'm like alright cool you sign yeah. up for this shit let's yep. go yep. but if it's just a random bystander they're, they're like they're, you don't need to be good those, citizen dog you can sit there's down there's unwritten rules where like the staff ain't really going to fight me outside. No. Because no. they, they ain't trying to lose their job. Yep, exactly. So I can say whatever the fuck, fuck I want because I'm a dirty, <laughs> nasty dog. <laughs> fuck you, you $7.50 hour to make a motherfucker. You bitch How that two to Get the fuck out. Is that your Toyota Camry down there? Get the fuck out of here. That's why you're getting told, motherfucker. But if some random dude at the bar who's just helping out, I got to fight him. Yeah. I have to yeah. fight him. Yeah. So like, you as that guy, you're a friend of the bar. You're an enemy to me. But I'm representing the bar here. As this is the bar goals, yep. you are one hundred percent a bar friend. At, you know, try to be man. And it try sucks. To be. I hate. I hate admitting it, but <laughs> I, no, you are. It's because the turns is, out, like, people. I'm yeah. not a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Expo is is a tough thing because you are definitely in both pots, and I don't think exposition or expediters get the the I don't respect even know that they deserve. The actual word. I just know Expo, bro. Like I don't even know. The I think it's expediters because it's expedite to get, to get quick. Yeah, like I veto shit if it's something. Because a chef can give right. you a plate, but like your job is to be like that's not over medium. That's over hard. 
these little yeah, extra green no onions. Meat. Oh, yeah. there's no black sesame on this side of the plate. Yep, you know, yep, yep. Yeah. Those if it's gluten free, yeah. that's me. That's those me. That's minute, de- those minute details yep. that like the server's not catching because you just hand the server a plate. They don't look at the ticket. And be yeah, like, no, because half the oh, time it's not even be... their table. So yeah, it's, no, one hundred percent. Yeah. So it's it's just like yeah, no, take this to to fifty six, take this to sixty four. You know, whatever. I, I constantly say that, like, if if the kitchen were a train, that the 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 guys in the engine room are the dishwashers because mm-hmm. they okay. uns, unsung heroes. Yes, so unsung so heroes, the guys shoveling anybody, the coal. Anybody yeah. who works in restaurants, your dishwashers are your best friends. You you do nice by them. You do not put your dishes back. That's what I'm organized. Like, when you do the hierarchy, you yes. dishwashers are three Dish, for me. Yes, yeah, okay. Dishes, dishes I, three. I fucked dishes up because I'm a little fucked up. That's yeah. why. So, mm-hmm. but no, dishwashers are definitely up top five at least. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no, there should be. I, I mean, there's only five dishwasher. positions, so he's saying you're last. But you know, <laughs> me, I had you top three. I had you top, top three. three. Chef, I sous chef. I haven't worked. I haven't worked in too many places that had an actual sous, sous, sous chef yeah, position yeah, exactly. though. Same, yeah. but same. At least three positions from the chef is the dishwasher because yeah, 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 that yeah. motherfucker will fuck everybody. <laughs> yes, <tonight. laughs> yes. And if you're waiting on silverware for the uh, whole restaurant. Yeah. They how they do their um, shit. Do you think you could wash the silverware? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Fuck your life. <laughs> Francis, <laughs> fuck your Francis, life. But the other guy that worked, Spanish dude that worked for Francis. The oh, oh, I don't remember his name, but I've been trying to fight bro. him like four times. Yeah, <laughs> he was. Yeah. Yeah. Him and I tried to fight him a few times. Wrong, yeah. He'd go off. Yeah. <laughs> I used to throw mm-hmm. plates at him because I'm an enemy. I'm fucking. I'm trash. I'm trash. But Nate here, Nate is a friend to the bar, 100. percent um, Expos don't get their credit. Let's roll out the uh, video here. Let's call it here. You get the gargoyle shirt with the... Oh, this is the new front logo here. It is more conducive to, like, the actual gargoyles, like, fucking OG thing here. Mm-hmm. Bing, bing, boom. Send that in the kitchen. Send the pictures. Shout out to for sure. You know, already. <sighs> Degregated and humiliated and broke my spirit. That is literally my pickup technique. Cheers. 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 I don't even have to give 100% dick. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Hour 15. We're going to break that up into the first 30 minutes, then the last 45. Because our bar enemy friend, our bar enemy bar friend segment went long today. But it was good. I like talking about like the, the nooks and crannies of the fucking restaurant yep, industry. Yep, yep, yep. One thing. You got to pee? Uh, yeah.